Hello my friends. I'm experimenting today on a new size canvas, for me anyway. It's an 8 by 24, kind of unusual. And some new paints, again for me, Extreme Sheen in sapphire, 24 karat gold and antique bronze. Black, Artisoft Black and a Cerulean Blue to which I have added some white and a new pouring medium. I've combined Floetrol and glue and with it just a touch of water as needed. I'll put it all down below in the description, but my idea today is to do a float cup in the center. On either end, I'm going to have some negative space, I hope, of black here and a light blue there, and I'll layer the rest of it in the cup and hope for the best. So let Let's give it a go, see what happens. I'm going to go in this order, black, gold, sapphire, bronze, and light blue. Just one layer. I didn't add any silicone. that I kind of expect to get um, some cells because of the flow trawl. Oh, that's the eye. But I added the glue to kind of hold the, the cell shapes, I'm thinking. Oh. I guess I ought to add this all. I don't want to run short on paint. Where did I leave? I should have added, eh, maybe I'll, no, I'll go with the rest of the gold too. It's um, medium thick, maybe a little on the thicker side than, than thin. Okay, that's it for the, the flip cup. Let me go ahead and turn that over. And I'll apply some black here for a negative space. I got these canvases from the place I get my uh, frames. I've mentioned it many times in previous videos. In fact, I did a whole video about framing and I'll give you the link for the place there. But they also make canvases, custom sizes. They sell canvas rolls, everything. So, um, and I like them. They're nice quality, reasonable cheaper than um, Michael's, even when they're on sale. However, you do pay shipping, so I guess it's probably about the same, although you can get unusual sizes there. So, so far, I'm very happy with everything I've gotten from that place. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the, about the edges. I'll come back and paint those later if necessary. And blue over here. It's pretty thick. <laughs> Probably. Maybe it should have been thinner. Okay. Maybe I'll, oh, it's going to tilt it a bit, but I can't do that one. <laughs> Flip cup sitting there, can I? Let's smooth it out a little more. Okay. 
that's okay. It'll it will smooth out. Okay, good enough. Here we go. Interesting. A lot of little cell things there. Let's hit with the torch. Pop some bubbles. And move it around. I don't, I don't know what I did that for. What you saw me doing, that was kind of silly. But I'm going to cover it up anyway. So. Now, I like it. I'm not terribly happy with this light blue negative space. Cover it up and take a look at it from different directions. Mm. I'm going to bring it all up this way. I will leave a, a, some of it, but I'd rather have more black. Less blue. Wow. It's not flowing very well. <laughs> I wonder if I should do kind of a swipe thing. I'm going to smooth out this end here and then I might come with a tool and, and just swipe across that area where the light blue meets the rest of the paint. Or not. Hmm. Can you? I don't know if you can see it. I know I'm tilting it towards me, but I need to cover this this corner. I, I rather like it. Almost ready to set it down. Okay. Oh wow, it's very interesting on this side here. I'm gonna have to bring the camera there so you can see that. Haha, <laughs> that's fun. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Yeah, it's okay. You know, I think, I think I like it. Uh, I don't think I want to, to swipe along there. Well, that was very simple <laughs> and effective, I think. Um, let me try hitting it with the torch one more time, see what, if anything, happens. 
more little white, white-ish specks, though I used no white in it. This is the only goofy part right there. I like that. I think I'm going to call it good. I'll need to touch up the, the sides. You can see little little areas, but I, I don't want to disturb the um, composition, so I'll let that dry and fill that in probably with black. At least in those spots, this will be blue. And I don't really need to, well, yeah, let me bring you down for a closer look and I will show you that other side. Okay, well, I was about to take you down for a closer look, but I decided to do something else to it. I'm going to add a little drizzle in gold here in the black edge, and then maybe some black in the blue, just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. Um, it's so busy in the center, of course, and then there's this is just too solid for me. So I added a little bit more of the Floetrol glue mix to extend this paint. I hope it's thin enough. Let's see. I'm gonna add a little more on it. Runny, but not so runny that it goes like that, and that could happen, but I'm willing to experiment. That's what it's all about, right? Okay. These little silicone things have a nice little spout, so that's great. Okay, here we go. I, I have to bring you down and show you the close-up. This is my very favorite part right here. The gold is peeking through this kind of blue webbing. It's pretty wonderful. Okay. What do you think? Should I have done that or not? Should I keep going? I didn't go all the way off. I, I, three of these are off the side, three or not. I don't know what's going on over there. But anyway, hmm, I'll have to come back and hand paint that. But let me. Did I ruin it? What do you think? I don't know. I think I have to get rid of these three um, lines there. They're too similar. Those are a little skinnier. I like that. Oh, crap. Oh, excuse me. I said crap. <laughs> I said it twice. Oh, I don't like that. I wanted, I didn't want dribbles. I wanted lines. Doggone it. I better stop. Um, I know what I'll do. I'll take my palette knife. Should I? It's not that noticeable. I'll just kind of. Make that disappear there, and that's not a big deal. Okay, I won't, <laughs> I won't mess with it anymore. I think I like it. I think it adds interest. Now, what about the black? What is that going to look like? I'm doing it. Because I'm just not, um, I don't mind a lot of black negative space. See how the gold is kind of spreading out, but, but the blue is just too much. So I'm going to do the same thing. And I 
crisscrossing. Oh, got some of those things again. Oh my word, maybe that is a look. Maybe it's okay. Actually, I don't mind the <laughs> in black. Oh my gosh, I have to say I don't mind it because I did it. It's done. Okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> okay, finished. Let me bring you in for a closer look. So I added those funny little black lines. I, I, I'm not unhappy with that. Here, this is the part I love. I think that is so pretty right there, that gold peeking through. And there's the gold I added. Yeah, I, I think I like the vertical orientation. Make it back here. I have to be on this side of the table, although I think I would want the black to be the bottom. But here's the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But it's always fun, isn't it? Experimenting. Let me know what you think. And um, I'm looking forward to playing some more on this size canvas, though. It was a lot of fun. It didn't take much paint. So, okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.